As a self-defender, you've got to know when to comply and when the time comes that you got to take steps to defend yourself. Magazines are replacement items. You need extras, and the best place for more mags for every firearm you own is Gun Mag Warehouse. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson. I'm not positive where this one comes from. I know it's from the United States. It's actually an old episode of Court TV's where I got it from. It's got some significant, interesting lessons here of a woman who has to survive an armed robbery attempt. So this guy comes in and, and is cloaking his intent, but then he puts his hand in his pocket, tells the clerk that he has a gun and he wants the money out of the till. And she's gonna comply. She kind of throws her hands in the air there and takes all the money out of the till and just hands it over to him, which I think is probably pretty wise. And he's, he starts to walk away. Now again, you go watch the original, it says he came back and said, hey, come out from behind that counter and he wanted something else from her, didn't say what it was. She said at that point she was scared for her life and, and pulled a firearm there and shot him once and shot him again. Now again, you go watch the original and he says at this point she was gonna shoot him again and he started screaming, lady, I don't have anything, I don't have anything. N namely that he was bluffing that he had a firearm on him. And then the police were actually outside and heard the shots go off and they're gonna come in and take this guy into custody. Now there is some discussion because of where she lived about whether this was legal. This was a great use of force. She did a fine job here. She did a pretty incredible job of protecting herself here. If you want to learn more about doing a better job of protecting yourself, join us on the Active Self Protection Extra channel. We post videos there every week that'll help you be better as a self-defender with your tactics, your techniques, and your procedures. Out of today's video, I want to think about the danger of keeping a gun stationed at your desk. Secondly, I want to talk about when the right time to go is and about the importance of marksmanship in your self-defense. So you're always at a deficit as a self-defender, right? He puts you know, his hand in his pocket, says that he has a gun, and he demands the money from the till. And I think she does a fine job here of saying, okay, here's the money out of the till. Compliance is always an option, friends. Against an armed robbery, against you know, a, a, you know, predation like this, or resource predation, hey, I want your wallet, I want your cell phone, I want your car. As long as it's not people that are, are, are he's trying to take, hey, I wanna take your baby, I wanna take you, or something like that. Compliance is certainly an option in that, those instances. And, and she did a fine job. Okay, man, you want the money and that'll get you the heck out of here. I don't mind that at all. I don't think you have to stop a criminal. I don't think that's a moral obligation because you do put yourself at some risk if he did indeed have a gun. So, you know, put compliance in there as an option in, in your willingness to defend yourself. She gives it to him. Now we got to think about this idea that he kind of backs out of there and starts leaving, but now comes back and says, hey, I want you. I want you to come out from around these things. Couple of things here. Number one, notice that she has the gun under the counter. Now we know that here, but of course, you know, he doesn't in that moment. And one of the things that I want to say is, is if she had not been sitting behind that counter, if that's not where he had found her originally, she probably would have had a much harder time getting to that gun. Secondly, notice that the, the drawer was giving her a little bit of hard time to get to it. That's why I always recommend put a gun on your person, don't keep it under the counter. Now that said, this woman had literally never fired a firearm before is what the original said. So get the appropriate training to be able to do that. Now she gets that firearm out and takes an immediate shot with it. Now notice I'd said that she had never fired a firearm before. Thankfully, firearms are easy tools to learn and they provide powerful force multiplication. Marksmanship, incredibly important, but notice how close they are here, maybe six feet apart, that she didn't have to have a great sight picture that pointing the gun and using that point shooting technique, which she didn't even need to be taught, you know, pressing the trigger straight to the rear was effective. And so I wanna say that again, I want you to have a high level of skill. But thankfully, her bad guy here was not very you know, highly skilled himself and proximity negates skill. She gets him once. Now, notice that she moves over so she can continue to see him. And when he rolls over to look at her again, she continues to perceive a threat. So she's going to shoot at him a second time. I think it's really wise here. You notice that once that first hit came, he hit the fibs factor, hit the ground, and now he's looking back at her, that she moves as well so that she's not staying right where she is. That's a natural inclination that we all have and one that we should cultivate in training. And then as she sees and perceives another threat, she's gonna get after him again and shoot him a second time. Now, as he starts screaming, lady, lady, I don't have anything, you notice she stops. If you go and you watch the original, there's a little bit of interview with her, and she says she was gonna shoot him another time, but he said, lady, I don't have anything, and he has rolled 
rolled over on his belly and writhing in pain rather than being an active threat to her. She stopped in that moment. That's an excellent thing there. She had a threat in front of her. She stopped that threat. Now, of course, I would strongly encourage, keep the gun on him. Get yourself to a safe space because he might come back to and he might come out of this idea of all the pain that he's in and reemerge. And she didn't know if he was bluffing that he didn't have a gun in that moment, but she did a good job of stopping the threat and nothing more. And I think that's the right answer. Finally, as the police officers show up, this is very important. I want you to pay attention. This cop shows up and he looks over at her. And of course, as she's standing there with a gun in his hand, he's going to get his out as well. Instead, the second you see those police officers, put that gun on the ground, get your hands in the air where they can see you. So then that way they don't perceive you as a threat. Of course, you're going to expect them to put everybody in cuffs and then figure out what's going on. All things considered, I think this woman did a fantastic job, waited for her turn, used her firearm at the right time, stopped the threat, did good job with responding officers and covered her asp.